Hey you guys, I'm Alexandra Harbushka, founder of Life with Herpes. Okay, today we're gonna talk about being pregnant with herpes. All right, welcome to my son's nursery, and I am gonna film it here because we're taking down the crib tomorrow. So this is like, his, my last hurrah with this. Not that you guys really care, but I care. This is like his last little like baby thing. Anyways, if you're pregnant, first of all, congratulations. This is like the most exciting time of your life. Um, I know there's so many things to expect and I'm sure you can hear Clinton in the background. So there's a lot of like thoughts that go into, oh my gosh, I'm pregnant and what if I, what if I get outbreaks? What if I don't get outbreaks? How does this impact the baby? Things like that. So let me tell you just a little bit about my experience about outbreaks, no outbreaks, things like that. And then we can go get into a little game plan for you. So for me personally, I went through IVF, which is in vitro fertilization. They pump you with a bunch of hormones and drugs to get your eggs out and to help you conceive. I went through that. I did not have any outbreaks. During my first trimester, I did not get outbreaks. My second trimester, I got a couple of outbreaks. And then during my last trimester, I got a lot of outbreaks. I got a ton of outbreaks. Um, why? There's hormones, there's stress on your body. So why does this happen? Okay. So the doctor told me, he's like, gosh, when you're pregnant, you're a different animal. Like if you were this way before, you may be this way now. Perfect ex example, women that ate, you know, salads every single day of their life may now be eating pizza every single day of their life. For me personally, I'm gluten free. I could eat all the gluten I wanted when I was pregnant and then now I can't even look at it. So your things, things change. People that got outbreaks may not get outbreaks at all during their pregnancy and people that never had an outbreak or like get ones every five years may get tons of outbreaks. Your body changes. So just be aware of that. Um, don't set expectations on yourself. So now what to do as far as having a birth, having a delivery. So I actually had Clinton vaginally. Um, I was able to do that. I got on the antiviral about 35, 36 weeks prior to having Clinton. This is really important though, just because I had a vaginal delivery doesn't mean that's gonna be right for you, right for the partner, right for your doctor. With that being said, you and your partner and the doctor need to get on the same page. So I made sure that my husband, Bill, felt comfortable with me vaginally having a birth and potentially putting Clinton at risk. My doctor set up, we, we had a, uh, we, we got connected and put together a plan of what we all felt comfortable with. So he said, if you take the antiviral prior to having the Clinton and did not have any outbreaks, you will be at less than 1% chance of, of transmitting herpes to your baby, right? So again, I'm not a doctor. Go talk to your doctor, get a game plan, put it together. If you meet with a doctor that's like, this is what we have to do to do and you don't feel comfortable with that, then get a different doctor or talk to somebody else. Again, you, the other parent and the doctor all have to be on the same page. Now there's things like I mentioned, you can take the antiviral to um, help lessen the outbreaks um, when it comes to the time of delivery. I personally did not take the antiviral until the very end of my pregnancy. There were some natural things I did. I used tea tree oil. I diluted it with either coconut oil or some water and I applied it directly to the outbreak. I just at that point didn't wanna do anything that was not natural during my pregnancy. That was me, that was me personally, but that is what I did. So. Let me know what questions you have on pregnancy. There is so much fun stuff. We do have a lot of people that just had babies or are pregnant right now in the secret society. So this would be a great opportunity for you to join. It's our online community of people living with herpes. You can go join, you can check it out. You can talk to other mommies all over the world. Um, I have it linked for you and you can just, uh, it's a monthly subscription, so you can go check it out. All right, I will see you soon in the next video. Leave me a comment, let me know your thoughts. Are you pregnant? Congratulations, what we can do to support you. Um, I will see you soon in the next video and wish me luck with saying bye to my little crib, Clinton's little crib. All right, bye guys.